Hello everybody, welcome back to Cam Plays The Inquisition, and today, after that ridiculously long uh, Winter Palace Ball shindig, we are going to go reunite with Hawk once again at long last. I am excited. Apparently, the, um, Hawk, even though I messed up his and, and, hold on, by messing up his face, if I didn't elaborate enough, basically what I meant was, uh, he looks awesome still. Don't get me wrong, he looks cool. He looks uh, as gritty and uh, <laughs> as uh, you know hard ass as I wanted him, wanted to make him look in two. However, uh, in terms of like the spacing of where his nose and eyes and mouth is and all that, it doesn't look exactly like he did in the first game or uh, in two technically. But you know that's okay. All oh, right, sweet Sutherland returned with um, heavy shield schematic. Nice. Okay, I'm assuming if I talk to Sutherland one more time at the tavern, it'll be awesome. Um, in fact, I'm gonna go do that right now to uh, warm myself up and prepare. Today's the day. We're gonna go reunite with Hog. Okay, so as I was saying, yeah, um, I, I, I have been getting actually a better reception from him than I thought. Even Norm was like, damn, he looks badass. And he does. He, he at the very least, he looks more, um, uh, he looks more like a tough guy. More of a tough guy than I wanted to, than I could have made him. Wanted to make him in two. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm getting off the subject, but, um, or uh, off track here. Losing my train of thought. Okay, anyway, yeah, it's going to be great to see him again, um, you know, after all that, after after the Winter Palace, I cannot believe how many parts that ended up uh, divvied up to. It, it was insane. At least uh, 10, 12, 11, something like that. Sutherland, you up here, bro? I wanted to congratulate you. Hey, how's it going, man? Inquisitor, I, we have something for you. We've been saving and, well, this is yours. It's payback for all you invested. Plus extra, you know, investment and such. I just wanted to say thanks. We never would have been anything without you. Aww. Um, hmm. Let's see. Uh, do I want to... You earned it. You deserve... You earned it. You deserve it. That looks like pay well earned. It isn't mine to take. You hear that? That's what inspired me. That right there. Oh. Cry again, fool. Inquisitor, you see us in the tavern? We're buying. If that's your will, your worship. Yay! All right. Anything else to say, bro? Um, no. I guess that's it. Wow. <laughs> hey, man. He was a he's kind of like his own little mini inquisition right there. His own little party. I kind of hope to see him in the future someday. Wouldn't that be sweet? Yeah, hey, hell, I'll even take him as a party member. There's actually quite a few characters I'd like to see as party members. Um, Dagna, for one thing. I heard there was a thing where she actually was going to end up being a party member, but then it was decided for, um, I guess, too many variable reasons. Like, what? It, oh, oh, did I rant? Uh, of course I ran through the fire. Like, if you didn't make, send her to the Circle of Magi in, uh, in, in Origins, blah, blah, blah. All right, enough screwing around. It's time. We're gonna go find the wardens with Hawk's help, and this is gonna be grand and glorious. I have a bad foreboding feeling that something, something bad's gonna happen. Please don't kill off Hawk. Please, I, I, I beg you. I want, I, at, at the very least, I want to see the, uh, I want to see Giles before this is over. All right, let's go. For, let's go uh, reunite with Lucius Hawk. Okay, so it's pretty clear who I'm gonna bring. I wonder if I should do have some of these war table missions going as I'm doing this. Nah, I think it'll be fine. Okay, find the warden. Hawk has revealed that. We're, Hmm, okay, so secrets. Is this opening up a new area, actually? It might very well be. I shouldn't new area unlocked. The trebuchets. They must be calibrated to reach the proper range. <laughs> Again? How many times will you be doing that? <laughs> okay, let's see. So, what is this new area? Would you, uh, Crestwood? Ah, excellent. Okay, so I think you know who I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna bring Beric. For a long lost re uh, uh, reunion between him and his buddy, even though it technically has already happened. Since we're also dealing with um, the Wardens, I think bringing Blackwall is going to be a good idea. And finally, um, hmm, I should bring another mage. But who is it going to be? Um, man, I really I just do not want to bring Vivian at this point. I don't know. Um, I brought Dorian last time. Uh, I am starting to regain some of Vivian's... Um, uh, approval at least at the very least so yeah and once i do her quest maybe i'll be able to even out at least uh, at the very least i don't want to lose her i'll admit that uh, so hold on i think i'm actually want i actually want to bring solace i i don't know why i just do um so confirm and i think we got a good balanced crew here <laughs> as you can see i'm wearing um a black version of the uh, uh formal attire i turn it into something of a bit of a uniform and that is customized and it actually provides a very high armor defense almost as much if not matching the uh, armor the gray warden armor and since it looks better i'm just gonna wear that um uh let's see i bet if you're worried if you're on edge i should alert the entire inquisition or increase my hazard pay 
That's an option. <laughs> are, are things that bad? Oh, we're gonna see the destruction firsthand. Oh, what is that? Oh. Crestwood <laughs> was the site of a flood ten years ago during the blight. It's not the only rift in the area, but after it appeared, corpses started walking out of the lake. You'll have to fight through them to get to the cave where Sir Hawk's Grey Warden friend is hiding. <laughs> yes, it is possible to flirt with her. Although I found out it's not technically a real romance. Um, kind of like um, Kelly Chambers in Mass Effect 2. Um, even though that turned out to be somewhat of a real romance in Mass Effect 3. Still, um, yeah. If she was a full romance, I ain't gonna lie. I, I, things might have gone differently. But Cyrus himself is... You know, still think it has Cassandra on his mind anyway. Uh, but enough about that. Thanks. For, um, are you safe here? Have any undead attacked the camp? Even if uh, Cassandra is now out of my reach, what with uh, supporting her claim for the throne. can tell you how to get to the rift in the lake. Make her nose that won't help. Good luck. You know, why haven't they had a dwarf romance? I mean, unless I'm completely mistaken, why haven't they had an actual factual dwarf romance? I mean. There's so many people that want to wanted to romance Varric, and I, fa I found out that is not a thing in this game. Kind of bummed me out, too. Varric's awesome. And why haven't they had a female? Holy sh... Did you see that? Oh, my God. Wow. Okay. Um, That was a thing. <laughs> Am I gonna get? Am I gonna get zapped? Hold on. Let, let's let's do this right. Okay. Still waters. Health. Chriswood. Here. Okay. So we got a big fight ahead of us. Um. How big is this map? All right. Let's do this. Um. Is there only one other? Um. All right. Wow. This is actually a pretty small area, isn't it? Okay. Let's do this. Uh. Let's fight our way. Still waters. Help Chriswood fight against the undead. Let's make our way right now. Rift in the lake. Does that rift mean water is pouring into the fade right now? Maybe the locals will lend us a boat. <laughs> That's gonna be funky. So where where is that? In my orientation. It's all the way over there. Wow. <laughs> How the hell is that even gonna be a a thing? Is that like gonna be a war table operation? Kinda like when you repair the bridge? Oh dear. Alright, so we got some fights up ahead. So yeah, no, seriously, back back on what I was talking about. Why hasn't there been a, a, a dwarf romance? I mean, come on, dwarfs, dwarfs need loving too. I mean, I'm sure there's plenty of love in there. I heard they ha they're actually kind of like the Krogan in a way, where in, in which case they're pretty sterile, and it's very rare that they'll have a kid. Um, not like to that extreme, of course, but they are technically the dying race in this game, uh, more or less. You know, they have their glory to hold on to, and that's about it. Oh, great wardens! Holy shit. Um, wow. <laughs> I never thought I'd just see random Grey Wardens. Why are you here? What are you doing in Crestwood? A warden named Stroud is wanted for questioning. We heard he passed through here. What? The villagers knew nothing. They have troubles enough. No, uh, why is he... Uh-oh. I sense a bad story here. You guys are working for someone, aren't you? What have you been told about this rogue warden? Warden Commander Clarell ordered his capture. I can say no more than that. Uh-oh. I hope Sir Stroud comes with us peacefully. I trained under him for a time. He's a good man, I'm sure of that. I can you stand help? Stay to fight the undead here. My orders forbid it. Crestwood was only a detour. Is that all the aid we can offer these people? If the Inquisition can help, I beg you to do what you can. The villagers have already lost too many. Jesus. Farewell. All right. Well, damn. mentioned a new leader. I don't think they're part of Corypheus's plot to seize the order. I didn't want to say much in case they were, but I think you're right. I hope Hawk's warden friend has answers for us. Okay, so that was a bit of a huge development right there. Okay, so I can see where this is going. Something's going on. Okay, so yeah, I take it back. Those guys don't seem like they're bad, I guess, uh, as uh, those guys were just pointing out. But yeah, looks like I'm gonna have to be careful. Something's going on. Why is Stroud wanting to be captured? 
Oh, wow, I'm a feeling, I feel like I'm actually commentating for the first time in forever. That's good, that's good. But, uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to end the episode there. Thank you guys all so much for watching. This has been Cam Plays the Inquisition, and I will see you guys all in the next episode. Leave a like, share the video, and subscribe to get an idea today. And love yourself, because Cam loves you too. Huzzah!